Okay, so now we're live. Good evening, everyone. Uh, hopefully, you all had a really nice day today. Um, so, as what was um, uh, advertised and what was um, shown to our community, that tonight we'll have a webinar discussing how to file your BIR form 701Q online. This also known as your quarterly income tax return. So I know that the deadline for 1701Q is still a few weeks out, but it's better naman that we get started early this month so that walang, walang shock tayo kasi, you know, 1701Q is um, is is the parang common denominator of all the taxpayers. Lahat ng tao magkailangan magpa-file ng 1701Q. So, if you want to avoid any problems down the line or nearing the deadline, then this is the webinar for you. So good evening again, everyone. I'm Lian Alas, the growth manager of Taxumo. And with me today is our customer success manager, Melanie Santiago. And she will be showing us exactly how to file your 1701Q online with Taxumo. So um, how are you today, Melanie? Kumusta? Hi, Lian. So medyo under the weather, no? like you but yeah. of course uh, taxes <laughs> can't wait uh, we really have to make time for it and this is the last this coming quarter because the quarter three is the last quarterly filing for income tax before the final stretch of annual itr so i know people are also um anticipating and preparing for this so we hope this session will really help them Yes, exactly. So, well, we're already getting a lot of questions regarding 1701Q, so I hope we can resolve all those, we can answer all those questions in this um, webinar. So, uh, before we begin, Aman, uh, feel free to ask any questions uh, you may have on the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, you can see my fingers down below. Uh, we will be answering them pala after our demo with Melanie, and if by chance you missed something important, Okay, uh, Magalala, this video will be recorded and will be available on our Facebook page. So you can just come back and watch it again if you miss anything. So before we begin, I'd like to um, give a brief uh, in. Uh, sorry, Mitchell, I don't know. Okay, I'll, gi gi sir, I'll give you a short background in part on the 701Q form. So this form is basically for, um, it summarizes all the income and expenses for the quarter yung third quarter natin. And basically, like what I've said earlier, all individuals engaged in business or trade or practice in the profession are required to file this form. Like what I've said earlier, ito yung common den denominator ng mga taxes that everyone has to pay. And deadlines for filing, especially sa third quarter, is November 15 with Taksumo. And I just like to na, na tell everyone that Taksumo's deadlines are earlier than the BIRs. So, and and if you're asking why walang Third, fourth quarter in a filing is that because the fourth quarter will be covered by your annual ITR filing in April. So how do you compute your annual quarterly ITR? Uh, for if your 8% flat income tax rate, so it's just basically gross sales minus 250,000 times 8% if you're purely earning from business. And if you're mixed income, it's uh, gross sales times 8%. The reason being is that your 250k deduction is already applied to your salary. Now, the next naman natin dito is um, your graduated income tax rate, which we have two kinds, which is itemized and OSD. For itemized naman, uh, since uh, inga, uh, you're basically listing down all your expenses, so it's gross sales minus gross purchases. And to determine how much tax you need to pay, please uh, uh, look into the trade tax table. Like, we can just search that easily on Google. But uh, since you got Taxumo, we, you can automatically... Uh, we automatically calculate that for you. And next naman is in graduated income tax rate for OSD. So taxable income yun naman is gross sales times 60%. And then please refer to the uh, train tax table for how much you'll need to pay. That's the basic summary lang of 1701Q. So just a reminder everyone, the deadline is on November 15. So um, medyo, it's still a bit far away, but you know, the sooner you the sooner you finish your 1Q, the less hassle it is. So um, I'll, and that's the brief run through or brief rundown on um, uh, your quarterly income tax return. And I'll be handing you off to Melanie for the, for how to file your 701Q form online. So I'll be sharing your screen now, Melanie. All right. Thank you, Leech. Uh, so 
Okay, okay I hope my audio is clear. Let's get started. A few minutes ago, I was able to receive an inquiry of, hey, how do I fill out or how do I file my 1701Q? So good thing we have this session. And uh, here, assuming that uh, most of uh, the people that will be watching probably don't know how to get started to use the platform. So this is our website. It's taxumo.com. So here, it's very noticeable on the right upper portion, you can see that there's a button to sign up for free. So yes, you heard that, right? Because there are people, most people really want to test it out before they, you know, get into it. So you can create your Taxumo account for free. When you click on that, there are, there are three methods where you can sign up. You can sign up by Google or Facebook, uh, which would be easier if, you know, your Google or Facebook account is already logged into the device that you're using, or you can also use email plus password. So if you already have your uh, Taxumo account, which I already have, this is my demo account. So it will look like this. So ganito yung niya. Of course, assuming that... Uh, most of you haven't really inputted anything yet, but your dashboard will show you a summary of uh, uh, all your data for the current year. Now, before we get started on filing, uh, most of the things that you will be answering when you create an account are already uh, being used to pre-fill your uh, settings. But you know, you have to make sure that you get the details right because there are people who are signing up, you know, without really checking on the specific details but before you get started at least this is something that you need to make sure that you have uh, entered the proper team so on the settings tab uh, of your taxumo account you will see the taxpayers details so basically this is your profile uh, that we will use to automatically fill out the tax forms that you are filing through taxumo so again you don't have to worry or uh, as we usually mention to uh, the people inquiring, you do not have to worry about filling out the form because it's confusing, but uh, Taksumo will do that for you. All you have to do is make sure that you get the details right here. So moving forward, you know, you don't have to really uh, get into the details of it. So we, we just want to remind everyone to get the taxpayer's name correct. Uh, right, you have your uh, certificate of registration issued by BIR, you will see there the taxpayer's name. Um, for others, mga individual uh, taxpayers, these are uh, professionals and sole proprietors, the taxpayer's name is the name of uh, the person. So for the sake of demo, that is my name. Ayan. But of course, that will be your uh, personal name. But for companies like partnership corporation, usually the taxpayer's name is the name of the company. And um, make sure that you get the tax identification number. So um, with the system of BIR, it's recognized on 12 digits. So if you know the initial nine digits, it uh, usually ends with 000 kung wala ka namang, like extension of registrations or businesses. But for others who are also filing for the extensions, you will see the man on the registration if that was for 001 or 002. But make sure that you get the tax identification number correct. The rest of the details are pretty much straightforward. So all you have to do is, you know, answer it accurately. Uh, these are actually needed on the actual tax forms that we'll be filing uh, to BIR on your behalf once you initiate the filing through your uh, Taxumo account. Now, I want to get into uh, the details of the business profile, especially that we are talking about uh, income tax. So for the business profile, of course, uh, your line of business is uh, um, stated on your certificate of registration. This is a free encoding uh, slot, so you can you know encode that, especially for those na maraming line of business registered with BIR. And make sure that you indicate the date when you want to start filing your taxes from. So just in case for others, uh, probably others are using the platform to file their third quarter of 1701Q, but there are instances that people use the platform to file, you know, the earlier 1701Qs that they missed out, like probably quarter one or quarter two. So if ever you are filing for the earlier quarters, make sure that you indicate the start date of the period coverage of the quarter that you are filing. Don't worry because your Taxumo account can accommodate late filings and will automate computations of penalty um, for uh, the late filings uh, for the tax forms that you missed for the earlier part of 2020 and even for 2019. So there, you can uh, you can specify there. Uh, this specific 
portion uh, directly affects the income tax that you are filing. And it's good that uh, Leisure is able to mention um, some of these details that are commonly asked talaga for, uh, for uh, income tax. Now, you have to make sure to indicate the business type if you are uh, providing service, selling goods, or doing both. Uh, for income source as well, we want to emphasize that uh, what is being asked here, oh, by the way, there are two tips to uh, guide you through, but what it's asking here for source of income is your source of income for the year. So if some of you were employed for a certain portion of the year or and you have your own business or probably doing both, employed, fully employed, and you have your business, you can indicate that accordingly. But if you started the years earning the year, the current year, earning solely from business, or income from profession, you can also indicate that. Because that is also taken into consideration for uh, the computation of your taxes if you're a mixed income earner or earning purely from your profession or business. Now, um, also, Leach was able to mention a while ago the different income tax rates. So uh, for others who have filed their initial uh, quarterly forms, Outside of Taxumo, best to check your uh, previous filings on the income tax rate that you opted for so that you have, you know, a complete reference. And of course, uh, most people are aware uh, that uh, the income tax rate that you choose on your initial filing has to be followed until the annual ITR filing. So you have to check on the forms that you filed if you filed it outside of Taxumo. But if this is your first time and you get confused, you can always send us a message. And there are two methods that you can, uh, two rates that you can choose from, which is graduated income tax or 8% uh, gross receipt tax, which Leach mentioned Kanina, how the concept of computation for that. Below that, you have to also uh, indicate your taxpayer's type. Ayan. So it should be easy for you to choose from there. And then the deduction method, which uh, affects the computation of your income tax if you opted for graduated income tax rate. Two options from here again. And if you want to, you know, read um, more articles about it, about the deduction method, we can also send you uh, some uh, contents that we created available for you. So there, you can choose which specific deduction method have you opted. So again, if you filed outside of the platform for your initial quarter, best to check on your um, initial filings or if this is your first time uh, we can guide you through there's always a chat box within your taxumo account for us to uh, you know um sort out any confusion that you have uh, also um there you will be able to see uh, for those under bmbe you can just or barangay micro business enterprise you can simply indicate yes for that there are certain provisions for them on taxation and no for others who did not apply uh, as a barangay micro business enterprise now uh, since we are talking about income tax make sure that you selected this specific uh, tax card income tax because whatever forms that you have selected here on the settings will be displayed by your taxumo account for you so along with the other forms if you're filing the other forms you can choose them but make sure for this one you have selected your income tax form now for the other semen the uploading of cor certificate of registration this is actually optional and for signature this is really for uh, your own reference and signature isn't required anymore for online filing now if you revise some information along the way make sure to hit this button save changes now of course people are aware on the computation of taxes uh you have to make sure that you have entered your uh, cash flow, your transactions. So there are specific rates that looks into the income only, that there are specific rates looks that looks into income and expenses. But, you know, to maximize the use of your Taxumo account, this is uh, best that you input for detail. Now, uh, for those of you who have... Uh, who are inputting, getting started with it, you can just hit this button if that's a total income. So when you click on add, basically you just have to fill out the details that are being asked here. Ayan. And then uh, uploading a receipt is optional. And then you can hit submit. So make sure that you also keep the physical receipts uh, because uh, that's uh, for your evidence. And just in case, you know, BIR will look for that, you also have that. Uh, and then for the expenses as well, you can just click on this button add. So it's also the same. You just have to input the transactions that you have for the expenses. If you are filing for this specific quarter, 
uh, quarter three, which is due this coming November. So you have to prioritize your July, August, and September uh, transactions. So if ever you have those already, you can actually filter out just to make sure that you know all of your details are there already. You can uh, show that filter, click on apply. There for this specific demo account, I already inputted my details for you know July to September there. Now, uh, there's also an option for uh, bulk adding of uh, income and expenses, which is actually still the same. And you just have to keep on uh, filling out the details and keep adding rows and click on submit. Now, uh, for those who have their Excel file already, there are a lot of people who are fond of uh, uh, recording their data on their uh, Excel file. So there's a download template. This is uh, available for non-VAT filers. Uh, uh, hopefully soon we can launch this for VAT filers. They can uh, download an Excel template and you can upload that very Excel file, which your account uh, will confirm if it was uploaded. So that's... Uh, an option for you to input the cash flow, especially for those who you know also want to uh, maximize the use of the account for uh, their uh, books of uh, accounts. So if you have recorded here per detail, it's automatically formatted to books of accounts. Specifically for this demo, we're talking about income tax. So this is an option for you to input your uh, cash flow relating to the quarter that you are filing. Now, uh, if you have already inputted that, uh you can uh, go ahead and file but uh, for those who have their uh, 2307s that they have uh, received from their uh, companies so 2307s are a certificate of withheld tax at source so you can go to withheld tax received because we know that 2307s are can actually be used as credits for your income tax filing so if you have your 2307s with you all you have to do is go to withheld tax received so the form 2307 that you receive will be displayed here. This is where you input that. So all you have to do is click on add record. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just have to input the details that are stated on your 2307. So it's just basically inputting those details. Um, if you have received that 2307 as well for, let's say, from the past quarter or the current quarter, you can... Um, you can specify that and uh, the tax codes are also present here you will see naman on your 2307s uh, whatever specific tax code that was applied to you and uh, for uh, income for the specific uh, months of the quarter so everything is stated naman on the 2307s that the, some of the companies are releasing to you and then this is um, Required that you uh, fill uh, that you uh, upload rather the form the two three zero seven for you to submit because we also have to uh, uh, make sure that your attachments are uh, accurate are submitted as well. So this specific portion you two three zero seven are for those who receive that. It's not actually for everyone. So if you receive 2307s from the company you work for, or if you were a supplier to a company na nag withhold ng taxes, so make sure that you also upload that here because you know you can use that as credits for income tax filing. But for others now, uh, you don't you do not have the 2307. You can skip this part. If you're done with cash flow, you can go directly to tax dues. So there. Now uh, the good thing about uh, using Taxubo. Is you don't have to get confused about the computations of your taxes your taxumo account will automatically compute taxes for you so that you know you can easily file uh, all you have to do is make sure that the details uh, that you inputted are correct and your account will take care of the tax computation which is done real time so every time you input on cash flow or uh, you have two three zero sevens when you go to this tax juice tab you will see the actual computations and if ever there are on the following quarters you want to see ahead how much you have to pay you can you know take a peek and uh, at least you know uh, what is uh, what the uh, fund or how much you have to prepare before the filing? So for this specific uh, demo account that I have, just in case others are doing late filing for income tax uh, income tax forms for quarter one and two, there if you displayed uh, the date on the settings, man, you can still do late filings on your uh, Taxumo account, which is on red boxes already. 
there you will also see a prompt here if you have late filings and the computation shown here actually factors in the penalty computation. So you can, yes, you can still file your quarterly uh, income tax form for the earlier quarters of this year. But for others who are filing the quarter three, uh, we'll do that demo, especially for the upcoming uh, quarter three filing, uh, which is on November. So uh, on this specific uh, account that I have, I already have a sample filing that I filed already, I'm gonna show you that. But uh, for this account, for this demo that I'm doing, since I uh, revised some details on the settings, there's a four amendment uh, tax card, but uh, this will not be present naman if this is your first time to file. But nevertheless, the process is still the same. All you have to do is click on file now. So uh, income tax, has a, more details actually than uh, what usually is being asked uh, from the other tax forms. Now, uh, I know this can be overwhelming and I've seen messages that, you know, they get overwhelmed, especially if it's their first time to file. But uh, in Taxumo, we make sure that we explain the details that we're asking about. So let's say for this specific uh, portion, we're filing income tax. So let me just move this. So other non-operating income for the current quarter. So it's asking uh, the income that you have generated prior to getting registered with the AR. Let me just uh, close this prompt. All right. Now, uh, if you do not have any income prior to getting registered with BIR, you can just, you know, leave this at zero. But for others who have, this is a free, um, you can actually uh, edit this and uh, there if you have uh, some data to the year. But for those who have no income prior to getting registered, you can leave that at zero. Now, next would be partnership revenue for the current quarter. If ever uh, there are uh, taxpayers who have uh, received revenue from general professional partnership, they can indicate here. But for others, if it's not applicable to you, just leave it at zero. Now, um, how much is your total income for the quarter? The specific form that we're filing is quarter three. So that would be July, August, and September. So here, if you already have inputted on the cash flow, your uh, total income, your account will automatically compute your uh, total income for the quarter that you are filing. But there are others who do not have the time and let's say the patients to encode on cash flow, the details of those specific income, there's an option for you to just, you know, compute your total income for the quarter and input it directly here, All right? So it's an option for you. Now, cost of sales for the current quarter, since I have uh, already been inputting on my cash flow, uh, the other details for my, um, Income and expenses, it already has uh, factored in what what were the cost of sales. So it's automatically computed. So that's a good thing about using the uh, um, the other functionalities of your Taxumo account because it will already um, automatically figure out and not auto-compute the details that are being asked. But for those of you, let me just hit this button. Your browser refreshes every now and then for security purpose. So... Uh, there, we'll go back to uh, cost of sales for the current quarter. And then uh, for those of you who have figured it out on your own and you just wanna input it directly here, it's also an option for you. Now, how much is the total deductible expense for the quarter? For this specific uh, form that I'm filing, my settings is under graduated income tax. Yeah, it's also factoring in um, how much is the total deductible expense for the quarter? So there, I have that. For others who have withheld taxes and they did not have the time to uh, input that on withheld tax tab, you can input that manually here. When you click on next, all right, uh, there is a portion here where you have to input if you have excess credits from the previous uh, annual ITR filing. So you will see the description here. If you're still confused what it's talking about, if this is applicable to you, you can click this learn more button. You will be redirected to a certain write-up for you to know what it's talking about, if this is applicable to you, where to look for it. 
especially for those who have filed some uh, tax forms outside of the platform. But for others who filed it, this uh, annual ITR through your Taxumo account, this is pre-filled already. Okay, it's really nice if uh, you've done all your filings within your Taxumo account. Taxable income for previous quarter, it's also the same. Uh, I have one who asked this morning about it. Now, it's taking into consideration your taxable income for the previous quarters. So if uh, some of your uh, quarterly filings were filed outside of the platform, you can check on those forms. Uh, there are specific instructions here. In fact, when you click on the Learn More button, it will guide you where to look for that and input that here. But then again, if you file those through Taxumo, this is already pre-filled and computed. Income tax payments paid since the start of the year. Again, if you filed it through your Taxumo account, this is already filled out. If you filed outside of the platform, you can input here manually. If this is your initial time to file for the year, especially for those who had just registered, you can leave this at zero if you know some of the details are not applicable to you. It's also the same for tax withheld for previous quarters and uh, previous payment because for those na who filed outside of the platform but they want to amend so amendment means you are filing again because you want to correct or update your initial filing you can input here the initial payment that you've done but th if this is not applicable to you this is not an amendment you can just click on proceed so there um for this specific form that I'm filing, uh, because I have uh, below uh, low income than the threshold, so I have zero tax due. So Leech was able to show you uh, some glimpse of how taxes are computed. So on this particular portion, I, am, I have no tax due and I have no penalty. So uh, there, if uh, those of you who are filing but uh, you do not have a tax due, uh, there you will see this. Now, if others are filing late, which I'll show you in a while, may uh, factor in your penalty computation. So when you click on proceed to check out, uh, all right, instead of choosing payment channels, since I have zero tax due, uh, the paywall is required by the system. So you just have to click this button and it will transmit already your filing. Now, uh, which uh, I won't because this is a demo. Now, when you want to check on the progress of your filing, you can just click past filings. Now, in this case, the quarter three that I filed says not yet filed. All right. So for those of you that, you know, you just want to revise your information, think about it, you can cancel and file again. Now, let's do a sample of... Uh, late filing just in case uh there are others who are doing late filings hopefully not but if ever uh, you're doing that so let's do a sample of a quarterly income tax form so when you click on file now it's gonna ask of the same details uh, that i uh, explained a while ago so all you have to do is go through that okay now uh, the purpose of this is for me to show you that if ever you have uh, zero tax due but you have a penalty payable uh, for a late filing it's automatically computed by your tax sumo account now uh, when if you have any payable tax due or penalty when you click on proceed to check out you should be able to see your options on how to pay your tax due the most convenient way for you so here uh, for those who are uh, are uh, really into online purchasing you're very much aware that you know payment channels have gateway fees that they charge because you know they're processing your payment so you can pay your tax due by, via grab pay so when you click on each of the payment channel you should be able to see their gateway fee there so it's factored in so if you want to pay your uh, tax via grab pay when you click this button it will ask you to you know input your uh, grab uh, pay details or grab details there so if that's already set up so uh, for those who are uh, paying through visa credit or a prepaid card of course when you click on that and there's a gateway fee it's uh, a little bit higher so it's factored in as well so when you click on pay now 
you should be able to see a portion where you are asked to input your uh, card details, security details. So all you have to do is follow through that. And then for those who are paying via PayPal, when you click on that, there you can see their gateway fee. There are others who are uh, who find this most convenient for them. So you will be asked as well to input your PayPal uh, details. There you go. Let me just exit that. And then for those who are into online banking, okay, so uh, you will see the gateway fee here. It's most convenient for uh, some people because uh, there are a lot of people are into online banking lately. You will see the banks that are available here. So if you have your uh, online banking access of any of the banks that are listed here, you can choose this one. When you click on pay now, you will be redirected as well to a specific uh, link wherein you have to input your uh, either your email or uh, mobile number for that specific bank that you're using and you will be asked to log in on your uh, uh, online banking platform uh, for those who are i haven't activated my uh, online banking yet but it, there's a nearby bank that i can walk or go to you will see the banks that are available here this is their gateway fee when you click on pay now you uh, it's also the same. Uh, Dragon Pay will be asking some details and they will email you uh, specific uh, documents for reference on how to pay over the counter. And for those who are not into banking, they can uh, pay through uh, certain payment counters that are non bank, like Bide Centers, payment counters. You will see they, they are enlisted here as well and the corresponding gateway fee. So remember, each of these payment channels has their own specific process that uh, you have to follow. And uh, Payment channels has specific notifications set up for you. So some are uh, notifying you of the transactions via SMS, via email. Some banks also do uh, one-time passwords. You just have to follow that through. Once that payment is confirmed, uh, all you have to do is um, uh, also, you have to save that the document, the confirmation, and if you want to monitor the progress of your filing, so there, for this specific one, you didn't see me pay. I just showed you the payment channel, so it's on unpaid status, um, just in case, you know, uh, you want to scalp for funds the next few days and just, just file, and then just file the following day. You can cancel it and do the filing all over again. But how does it look like if uh, you filed and paid successfully? So this is what I did. A few days ago so that i have something to show you here so if you filed and paid successfully your uh, tax card we call we call it on your past filing should show in progress so that means your filing and your payment is already being transmitted uh transacted and transmitted to bir so here you've done your part already if it's on in progress status you can just uh you can just uh relax probably uh, get to do, get to do some of the work that you need to do and uh, visit your Taksumo account the next three days. Now, what does it look like if uh, we have already uploaded the confirmation and uh, the BIR confirmation and the tax payment record on your uh, Taksumo account? So this is what it looks like. Okay, let me just exit this. Okay, this is what it looks like. So instead of uh, in progress, when we have already uploaded, this is just a sample uh, tax card, but instead of in progress, it will be shown completed. There, you can view the form that you filed. You can view the BIR confirmation, and you can view the tax payment record. So if you have these documents already, you have all the proof that you filed and paid online. You can stay safe at home. But for others who, you know, really has to have their form stamped, just in case you know you're applying for loan or visa application usually it's on another tax form but if you need that stamp you can view the form and print that the bir confirmation print that the tax payment record bring them to your rdo and have them stamped so it's as easy as that but for those i do not need to have my form stamp i have you know the proof that i filed and paid online you can stay safe at home already so there you go these are uh, the specific uh, status for the past filing so before i end my demo i just want to show you how it looks like for those who are opting in for uh the eight percent so let me just go through that i have to choose eight percent click on save so 
let me just uh, cancel some of the forms uh, because for others, they might get confused. Why uh, is the process different for them? So let's go to tax dues, current filings. All right, so when you click on file now, let's do for the quarter three. So it's gonna be a little bit different for uh, those who opted in for 8%. So if this is an amendment, meaning you filed already, but you want to revise it, um, update it, or correct it, you can file it again, click on this button. So the same details for the others are being asked as well, like other non-operating income. If this is not applicable, you can input that. How much is your total income for the quarter? So like I mentioned, if, I've, if you have already inputted the details on your ca cash flow, this is already pre-computed, but for others, I do not have the time to input the details on cash flow. I just I have my pre-computed the uh, total income for the quarter. You can directly input them here, and uh, withheld taxes. Just in case you didn't input them on the withheld tax tab, you just wanna uh, you have pre-computed that. You can also uh, uh, edit this value, but if it's not applicable to you, just click on next. So in that case no expenses are factored in uh, for the 8%. Now, the same details are similar to graduated income tax filing. So there you go. Uh, you can click on the learn more icons as well for you to get to know more about them. So uh, there, it's the same journey, but there are little uh, differences uh, for the details that are being asked. So you can uh, file again as uh, usual. So there you go. That's it. If you get confused along the way, you can just click on the chat box of your Taksumo account. We are here to guide you. Also on the website, we have a chat box as well for uh, you to, you know, if you just want someone to walk you through the process of filing as well, we're here for you. So you can click on that. So that's it. Thank you for uh, joining me on this demo. Leech, I am already done. Do we have right. a question? Thank you so much, Melanie. So, ano pala? Okay, questions. So, guys, if you have any questions, please comment them down below. Uh, we'll answer them as uh, we'll answer them as soon as you, you know we see it on our screen as well. But my second question dito si Oliver Pancho. So, kasama po ba sa taksumo ang EBIR forms? Okay, it seems like someone from our team has already answered. Yes, uh, Taxumo is an accredited tax software provider by BIR. So if you're filing uh, through EBIR, yes, uh, we uh, we can accommodate uh, filing uh, through EBIR forms. Ayun. So uh, this is for everyone na hindi na baka hindi nakikita yung ano, yung <laughs> sagot ng teammate namin, yes. Kasama po yung yes. uh, Kasama EBIR forms. All right, so that's the only question we have tonight. Baka ano, kaya habol. So hopefully, guys, um, uh, you, you, uh, you, you guys ask any question you have. Kasi, uh, we'd love to answer them. But you know, while we're waiting, so I would like to encourage everyone to sign up for free, like what Melanie said earlier. An Taksumo account is free. The only difference lang with the uh, paid accounts we have is that you, know, you can't file and pay your form, pay your submissions to the BIR with a free account, but you're free to use any of the other features that we have. So right. you know, if you want to have a experience with the software or with our app first, you can go ahead, please do so. We don't ask for credit card details, so it's no strings attached na account. Right. And uh, by the way, if you also want to file your, I mean, not file, but pay your SSS and Pagibig, then you can also do that through Taxumo as well. It's available on your free account. So, you know, you know this is a benefit of free account. Uh, okay, so I think wala na questions so far. So for the people still watching this, I'd like to offer you a Taxumo promo code. So um, wow. it's 300 pesos for the first three months. So if you, if you act now, uh, you can you can do your business renewal as well for your form zero six zero five. So it's uh depending on the type of plan that you have, you can see here kung at which uh which plan is best for you. So it's uh, Taksumo A three hundred for your for the eight percent uh, plan, Taksumo Micro three hundred for the micro plan, and Taksumo SMB three hundred for the SMB plan. So if you're interested, please uh once you check out on Taksumo, there's a form there. 
kung saan kayo pwede maglagay na promo code, just chuck it in and then we'll, this will be automatically applied. So I hope to see you guys on the um, the Taxumo platform soon. We'll be very excited to uh, no, make the tax filing experience so much better for you guys. Yes. So again, I don't think we have any questions left, Melanie. So thank you so much for being with us tonight and sharing us, us how to file your BIR form 1701Q online with Taxumo. Thank you. All right. So um, uh, guys, if you have any questions, lang, please comment down below and our team will answer it in the comment section. So see you guys and I hope to see you soon. Bye. All right. Bye.